hello everyone welcome to my your programming club today we will be solving another daily lead code problem and the problem's name is palindrome link list so the problem statement goes like this given the head of a single link list you have to return true if it is a palindrome or false otherwise okay and uh, those of you who do not know what a palindrome is palindrome is a number or a string which reads same forwards and backwards so for example if you read it from left to right it will be one two two one and if you read it from right to left it will be nothing but uh one two two one so these two are same so you know this is a palindrome but 132 is not a palindrome if you read it from left to right it will be 132 and if you read it from right to left it will be 1 2 2 3 1 okay 2 3 and then 1 so these two are not same that's why it's not a palindrome okay so this is what a palindrome is now coming back towards the problem statement so you have to return whether you know uh, the numbers in this particular when you form you know join all the nodes from uh, this link list then whether it will form a palindrome or not for example this was the link list given to you then if you see what is the number found by this it is nothing but 1221 and it's a palindrome so you will be returning true otherwise false okay now let's have a look at the constraints so the number of nodes in the list will be of range 1 to 10 raised to power 5 and uh, node values are ranging from 0 to 9 okay so let's see how we can solve this uh, solve this particular problem so what we'll be doing is we will somehow get the hold of you know second half head of second half of this link list what i mean by second half uh, let's say this is the link list given to you for now we are considering a even length link list so if you divide it in half this will be the two halves okay one will be this and another one will be this okay this one is the head of second half okay so you will somehow get hold of address of or reference of this particular node and reverse this particular link list so after reversal how this link uh, link list is gonna look it is uh, uh, it is gonna look something like this one then two and yeah so this will be the reverse link list then you can place two pointers here one is let's say head this is let's say second head okay and you can compare their uh, you know uh, compare the values of the nodes pointed by them so for the first one it is one one is equal to one so it's fine then we will be proceeding it further and this one will also be moving further let me change color here so next it will be two equal to two so it is also fine you will terminate as soon as you know you reach uh, null here okay so and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so this is how you know you will be approaching this problem and if at any instance you know it is the case that uh, these two values are not equal let's say it would have been three so three and two would not have been equal so we will be returning false from here okay and let's talk about the case when there is a odd length list okay so in that case you will simply ignore the middle element let's say there is another element in between here let's call it uh let's call it three okay so for when you will be having uh you know uh, taking two halves you will be ignoring this node okay ignore it in case of word length okay uh so now question arises how we can quickly you know find out the he, this particular node and then reverse 
the whole linked list for that uh, you should be knowing that how to reverse a linked list okay which was the problem for yesterday's delete code challenge by the way and uh, we have also made a video on that this is the video reverse link list i will be providing link of this particular video so in the i button and you can definitely check it out if you do not know how to reverse a link list okay so uh, we just need to somehow get hold of this particular no uh, this particular node okay so what we'll be doing is uh, let's say for now it's even length we will be having two uh, pointers one will be your fast pointer and another one will be your uh, let's say slow pointer slow will be moving one node at a time and fast will be moving two nodes at a time okay so as soon as your fast pointer reaches a node that is null or fast pointers uh two nodes ahead is uh, uh, also a null in that case you will terminate and uh, at that point your slow will be at the second half uh, second half head okay this is second half head okay so this is what we will do to get hold of this particular nodes reference or say address second half head so let's see how we can do this programmatically and uh, also we will be seeing the implementation how this is uh, happening so i just i told you that uh, fast will be moving uh, two nodes at a time and slow will be moving one node okay so let's see uh, how we can achieve that so let's have a look at the implementation first of all you will find the length of the link list okay and then you will find the mid of the link list okay or get hold of mid of link list for even case you will be getting you know reference of this particular node and for let's say the case in which there are you know odd number of nodes you will be getting the reference of this particular node okay so this is looking something like this your fast will be starting from here and then it will go here then here and then finally you, you cannot move it any further and for the slow part it will be first here uh, and then here okay so when your whole thing will terminate your slow will be here okay so you have to somehow get one node ahead so you will just move slow one node ahead in case uh, the length of this whole link list is a odd number okay so this is what we are essentially doing here when you will terminate this whole thing uh, moving fast two places at a time and uh, moving slow uh, one place at a time and you may ask how this whole thing is working out you know for that uh, i will say that when your fast will be at the very last node so you can see that distance covered by fast is twice the distance covered by slow okay so when your fast is at the very last node your uh, slow will uh, you know definitely be at the center node okay this is the whole logic of moving fast twice as fast as slow okay so now coming back to the implementation then in case the length is odd you will move slow one point ahead and if that's fine it's okay and uh, you will just simply reverse get the reversed second half so after this reversal operation this half will look something like this okay then you can simply place one pointer here and one pointer here and keep moving these two pointers and comparing nodes one by one okay 
in case there is a mismatch you will return false otherwise you are fine okay so while head is not equal to null and second half is uh, head is also not equal to null you will keep comparing the values if at any instance your values of two halves of this linked list are not equal then you will definitely return false otherwise you will keep moving and at last you will return true okay so this is how we will be solving this particular problem as far as time and space complexities are concerned uh, time complexity wise since we are doing only a linear traversal let's say length of the linked list is n then it is of order n and space complexity wise since we are not using any extra space just playing with the links it will be order of one okay so yeah that's pretty much it if you still have any doubts or any queries in general then please feel free to ask them in the comment section i will be uh you know answering them there and thank you for watching have a great day ahead